As a lot of you may already know, Discord.py recently got discontinued from its owner, Danny. This is mainly because of the reason uh, Discord's forcing all developers to switch to slash commands by April 2022, which may sound like a long ways away, but I assure you, it's less than like eight months away, which can actually go by pretty fast in the developer community. The way they're forcing this upon people is by enabling message intents, which basically, if you want to see what's inside of the message, you're going to need an intent for it, which will require verification. And this is all pretty annoying, and slash commands in general are a pain in the back to use, especially for discord.py. And so he ended it, but the library is open source and people are forking it and doing things with them. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can switch over from discord.py 1.7.3, which is the regular version, to 2.0 alpha edition, which kinda has some bugs, but it doesn't have many. It does not have slash commands implemented yet, which I'll be doing another follow-up video on, switching to a library called Next Fork, Next Chord actually, my bad. And that will have everything that you need to know, such as slash commands, buttons, selects, everything. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. The way you can actually do this is pretty simple. What you're gonna need to do is go into your Google browser or whatever, and go into GitHub and go to this link right here, the official li open source library of discord.py. It says it's been archived, but people can still fork the thing. And as you guys can see, it has a lot of forks from people already looking at it. All you need to do is just copy this and then go back into your Visual Studio Code, PyCharm, or whatever you use. Then type in pip install in your terminal and do git plus, paste this in, and then dot git. And what this will do is this will pull all of the contents from the master updated branch from discord.py so as you guys can already see i have it all this is requirement already satisfied and i've done it a long time ago now what you guys need to do is actually nothing you don't really have to do anything because it are already migrated and if the command that i just put does not work for you guys then you could use this command do pip install git plus and just paste it in regularly without the dot git in the end and what this will do is the same thing it'll clone the repo and then just save it and it returns the same exact thing now of course i will be doing follow-up videos on this on how you can make buttons in 2.0 selects and all of that uh, then I will be doing another follow-up video on all of that after next chord is fully released and in a stable version for you guys to use and That I can teach you guys how you can make slash commands and all of that And just so you guys know discord.py is not entirely gone. The library is not deleted But it's merely just discontinued meaning it will no longer be receiving updates although the owner Danny is may be releasing a final 2.0 version without slash commands so if anything that like that happens i'll be sure to keep you guys updated but with all of this i do ask you to join the link or discord server shown on screen right now it's the next core discord server and that you guys can see updates and if you guys want to start early on it uh, you guys can certainly do so and ask for help over there because they know a lot more about the library than I do. But anyways, thanks for watching and that's going to be it for today's video. Also, I'd like to thank all of you guys for the incredible milestone that I just reached, 1,000 subscribers. It's been a hell of a journey. It took it took eight, all, eight almost nine months at this point to get here, but... Uh, I love you all and thanks for subscribing. Anyways, this is Glowstick and see you next time.